Hey buddy, you ready for some action? We have a refrigerator and there is no alcohol in it so we won't abuse any. We have a Saturn airbag on an extension cord going to a car battery. So, the extension cord is wired to the Saturn airbag. And I've seen lots of things on YouTube where people put airbags in buckets and sit on them or do dangerous things. Well, we're not going to abuse any persons or we're going to abuse, not going to abuse any alcohol. We're just going to see what it does inside of a refrigerator. There we go. Close the door. Close the door. Perfect. That's all. Is the fridge going to go boom? Well, yeah, we got an airbag in the fridge from a Saturn. Oh, okay. We got a battery. We got an active participant from United States, <laughs> from the USA, from Boston, in, in Massachusetts. He drove all the way up here to see Dave's farm. What's your name? Scott. What's your username? You Scott Disney 83. And we're going to see the effects it might have on a Bud Light, since that's American too. <laughs> so it's in the freezer. You can do a countdown if you want. I'll show you how to do this. Are you ready, Wolf? Wolf's ready. Okay. I'm ready. I got me in my helmet though. You gonna do a countdown? Three, two, one. Okay. Yeah. Well, that wasn't that bad. I would have expected better. We'll have to tr we'll have to try a bigger airbag this time. Like one from a Crown Victoria. Oh, there's a little bit of alcohol abuse. Come on, Wolf, lick it up. Waste not, want not. Well, that's a little airbag. I guess Saturns are made for little people. <laughs> little smoke. I think this fridge is still perfectly good. I don't know how many lives that airbag would have saved. Ah! Fuck, it's hot! Oh! You... Word of advice. Do not touch the metal part of an airbag after it goes off. I just burnt myself. I right. did. It, it hurts, but it's... Answer it! Cool. It smells like fire. All right. I wasn't too impressed with a Saturn airbag. So now we got a Ford airbag inside there. From a big car called a Grand Marquise. There you go. So, let's see what's going to be better. Ford or Saturn for causing damage to a fridge. Oh, I guess we do have one bit of damage. We are ready. You're not going to be. Okay, Okay, we're all set up with Ford airbag inside the fridge, Bud laid on top, and the remnants of Saturn on top. Whoa! <laughs> Come here. Come on. Come on. Jesus. Oh, fuck. wow. Ford airbags are cool. I love that. I wasn't really ready for that. <laughs> you weren't ready? I don't know what to chase. <laughs> no countdown. Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. That blew the fuck I would hate to be in a Ford when that happened. We're, there's our Saturn airbag. Where's the Ford airbag? I don't know, something blew. Oh, there it is. Know, it's still smoking. <laughs> it's still hot. Look how hot that thing is. <laughs> Dude, look at the fridge. Look at the fridge. <laughs> Holy crap. They put that in a vehicle? <laughs> Blow your brains out. No shit, the door landed over there. <laughs> look how far the door went. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. I gotta get a new beer fridge now. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a coffin, doesn't it? 
Oh my god. Wow. Wow. That was a good bang for that little bag. That's a good bang for the buck. No shrapnel damage, just a lot of pressure. Oh well. Well, there's the Saturn airbag. There's the remains of the Ford. <laughs> Gotta love it. It's definitely a coffin now. I guess if that went off in the car, you would have needed a coffin too. Well, I'll drink to that. <laughs>